All right, everyone, welcome back to episode number three of the FUT World Cup mode here on Crossman Gaming. Thank you guys so much for uh, coming back to the series. Uh, nice to see the support from you guys. And uh, we are getting into our second tournament after what has to be classified as a disappointing first round, round of 16 exit in the last one. Uh, we're, we're hoping for a different outcome in this one, let's just say. We're faced up against this guy's team, who is German-based. Let's see what we're looking at. And we are looking at a solid, solid team. Pogba only in 86, but he does have uh, El Matador and Griezmann at the attack with Hazard, Pogba, Matic... Uh, Ender Herrera, Kyle Walker, Boateng, Varan, Nathaniel Klein, and the brick wall himself in net. David De Gea, and we lose connections. Alright, so that was a fun first take. I'll, I'll get back to you guys when uh, hopefully I get a, a match. Okay, we are back with a another solid team. This time in the form of this team a lot of really good players some out of position but for the most part they're playing typically where they would in a normal setting so we'll see how things get on in this one Luis. Felipe Luis now up to Imagine nine goal and a nice pass now they've got a chance in this part of the pitch now Ronaldo Ronaldo Jumps looking to him. bang and he does R9, R12 in this scenario gets us on the board in the first match of the knockout, or excuse me, of the group stage. After getting that, uh, whatever that was, disconnect type thing in the last game, Ronaldo is at one less game on his loan, which is a bit unfortunate, but we're just going to have to make do with what we have for these next three games. By the time we get to the knockouts, Ronaldo will be gone. We'll need a new striker option. Hopefully, goals that we get in the next three games can find us that replacement. Up to Di Maria. Di Maria looking for Ronaldo. Ronaldo gets on the ball well and quickly fouls. Felipe Luis looks to take it quickly and does. Fernandinho to nine goal and to R9. To Salah. Nice tackle by Bertrand. And now a bit of lag here. Hopefully, we don't lose connection. And if we do, it counts as a win for us. It says we get the win. We get a one nothing win. A one nothing win and a first half rage quit, I believe. Let's just make sure. Yes, we get a one nothing win and a first half rage quit. Let's. That was odd. That was <laughs> odd for sure. But let's open our packs. We get the one goal. Oh, we have two single player packs waiting for us as well. I believe from the last match uh, that we got the draw for. I'm not really sure. Let's open these two and then we get three packs for the last game. Not really sure why I skipped that. That could have still been semi quality player. It was not Torres. I believe in the MLS, Ramon Torres, yeah. Uh, let's see what we get out of the second single player pack. Again, nothing too special here. We'll let it play out this time. 64 overall Miller. Didn't even know uh, 64 overall was possible. <laughs> Anyways, here we go. Let's move on to the three... 7.5k packs that we earned from that last match. The first one does get us bored, which is always nice to see. Brazil, Ham, we get Augusto. 85 overall Augusto. Gives us a South American option. Not really a great card. And I've, I've honestly never even heard of this guy. He must play in, like, China or something. Renato Augusto. That sounds familiar, though. 
Hmm. Four star, four star. Interesting. 85 overall. I'm surprised there's somebody that high overall that I don't know of. Let's redeem this pack. Send the rest to our club. Get the zero coins we get for quick selling those things. Let's move on to pack number two now. What does pack number two have in store for us? Boards again, which is good. A single flare, which means we're only getting one good flare. This time a Spanish right winger. And that is Vazquez. Vazquez, the right winger. Perhaps an option once we lose Ronaldo to replace Salah. We will have to wait and see, though, where we go with that. Vazquez. Four star, four star as well. High, high work rates. Uh, right footed. We get uh, Southgate as well. Oh, don't want to send this guy anywhere. Yeah, send the duplicate storage. There we go. Almost quick sold him. Didn't want to do that. We gotta, we gotta use people for these SBCs. All right, and then these, this final pack right here. Hopefully we can get another board. Maybe something better than what we've gotten so far. And I think that we don't even get boards. We don't really get much of anything. Instead, we get NDD. NDD, solid card actually. Maybe, maybe an African team could be in the works with cards like NDD. Also getting Chiodicek, uh, Rigoni, and Fjolison. Oh, and another Thorken Hazard, our like eighth tight card. Then the duplicate storage for Thorken Hazard, tight, and Ekaterinburg Arena going away. We get our butt pack, which is just great. And we send the rest to the club. Let's get on to match number two of the episode. Alright, so game number two of the episode finds us against a European side, unsurprisingly. And a very good one at that with Hazard and El Matador Javier Hernandez up front. Ozil right behind De Bruyne, Kadira, Pogba. And then Kimmich, Boateng, Pepe, and Carvajal at the back four with the six foot eight Courtois in net for the second straight match. Should be a, a good one here. Um, we're running into more and more really good teams. Probably people who have grinded this more more than I have. Uh, I haven't really been grinding. I've just been doing the whole pack thing. Out to Pogba. Fernandinho with a nice play, but still gets to De Bruyne. Very talented side. This guy is offering up. Rui Costa now looking to distribute as he does now extremely well. Salah now. Salah now looking across. Salah, Salah back stick to Di Maria. Ten. What a cross by Salah. Wonderful and the goal. header to match well, from Di Maria. Di Maria change. with his and first goal heading to the to camera. Game. Now Kadira. Not very fast. And it's shown here but Hazard. able to recover the ball. It's on the move all the Felipe time. Now. Over a nine goal one. To Sala. Attacking well here. Sala now. And Over to Ronaldo. 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 Di Maria. Up to Di Maria. Di Maria on his left foot. And Di Maria bags the brace 16 minutes into the match. And that's certainly the case this time. Di Maria gets crossed that nation. A two-goal lead well, and potentially the form, securing are, six points very today. early and in the match number two. Here. Let's keep piling it on. Let's get, get some more packs. Let's keep forward. going. Shall we say? Nice tackle there by De Bruyne, but Rui Costa gets Nine it back. They could pose some danger now. A connection there between two Brazilians. And now back to another Brazilian, Felipe Luiz. Felipe Luiz forced to save it and turns it over, but Fernandinho right back. Fernandinho, up to Felipe Luis. The goalie comes out a little bit in a nice play by Courtois to read that one, and we are going to the half. The first half brace for Di Maria gets us quite the commanding lead. I think we should be good in terms of subs. Let's get into half number two. Ronaldo kicking it off for us to Salah. Nice tackle there. As Salah is now down. Just kidding, he's right back up. Just wanted to play play it off for a second. I think we're going to try to control the ball a little bit better this Felipe half. Luis. 
We didn't get the rage quit that I was kind of hoping for. Get the two free packs. But now Salah with a shot and Salah starting the second the half just corner. as we could Looking have hoped. Against. Salah for club and for country. Even though it's not his country, it's the crust it man nation. But you're not going to place yeah, any shots He's much better than that. Goal. My you goodness, that Mohamed coming. Salah with a beautiful finesse shot. Placing top left and placing us with a commanding 3 0 lead. Nice interception there by Di Maria. It's almost like the opposing manager earmarked. Direct to him for Carvajal. Carvajal, a right back direct to not a right back. Now Ronaldo. Ronaldo with the fourth goal, and we are up 4 0. He replaces Goretzka. Or he replaces a defender with a center midfielder. Well. And perhaps Ronaldo able to make goal. them pay well, for such an error. I think he makes Courtois there, there too. I don't think we expected this. Upsetting such to the Belgian affair, team, but, but the just humongous for the French Nationals as they are up 4 to nothing here. In this part of the pit. Now Ozo could be looking to distribute. And he does. But right there. Oh, Hernandez with a huge play. Mandanda with a huge save, though. My goodness. What a big steal there by Hernandez. But Mandanda. Oh, Mandanda not coming out for that one, though. And we have to clear it, and Versalco does. But only as far as Kadira Pogba now. They got to get it out. My goodness. They still haven't cleared their lines. Pogba. Pogba with the ball. And another block by Nacho. The attack's still on for the Belgians. Now, Hernandez, oh no, off the bar, off for Salco, and into our own net. Just a disappointing way to concede, Mandanda has played so well, but for Salco giving up the own goal and just what has to be classified as unfortunate passion. Hazard with a lot of space. Now Hazard, but a nice save by Mandanda. The reactions and diving of Mandanda proving to be huge for us and Hernandez looking to get his head on another one. If we've been proving anything so far, Javier Hernandez. And I think we get another rage quit here, which could be huge, just completely random. Oh no, we might have, we may have actually lost connection here. Which could be bad. If if we did lose connection, I think I went into the nope. I backed out. Hold on, hold on. Give me one second. It gives us a loss. We get a did not finish. We are now, unfortunately, only at three points after two games. But I think I think what we're going to do, we were up three goals at the time of us losing connection. So I think I'm going to take three packs, starting with this one. Just a rough a rough second match of the episode. I'm going to make this a three match episode, but I don't think I'm going to do the third match until I get some better connection. At Cam from Colombia, we get James Rodriguez. Filling our team with so many South Americans now. And a South American that I love in James Rodriguez, one of my favorite players. We also get Jack Butland. Alright, that's cool though. We get James Rodriguez. Okay, so our second loss of the series coming from a disconnect. You guys all saw it. It's I'm not going to cut any of that out. You guys are going to see what just happened on my screen. It says I lost connection. I was up three goals. We get another double board pack. This time, German CDM. We get Sammy K Oh, Emery Chan. <laughs> Jeez, Sammy Kadir and Emery Chan actually look really similar. I never really noticed that. Emery Chan, who might actually slot right into my starting lineup. Maybe I'll replace... Replace... Uh, Nine Golan with Chen, and I lost connection again. 
I don't know what's wrong with my connection right now. But I've lost my connection twice to the EA servers. Let's connect back to the EA servers. It's it's very clear to me that the third match is not going to happen just yet. So it's probably going to tell us that we have items to deal with. There it is. Chan. We did get another board, I think. Okay, so we got a second Lalana. Sign a duplicate storage. Man, this episode's going to take way too long to record. It's probably going to take multiple days for me to record this episode. So let's send the rest of the club. Chan might actually slot in to the lineup. Let's open our third and final pack. Unfortunately, our third and final pack. We should have a single player pack as well, but we got a DNF. We get boards again. Another single board. I'll take what I can get at this point. Brazilian again. A Brazilian CDM, and it is Fernandinho, who was the best player we got when we started the series. So we get a duplicate as our only really special player from this pack. El Nani also good. Um, let's get our s uh, pack for Fut here. We're getting plenty of uh, other things as well, but uh, let's no let, the other Fernandinho has plenty of contracts. Let's send him to this duplicate storage. Quick sell these two, and. Uh, Let's go check out, see what we can do in terms of making our squad better, because I think we might have some upgrades to make now. Okay, so the starting 11 is not going to change, but we did add some big additions to the bench and reserves, such as Vasquez, Augusto, and Chan, who made it into the reserves. Not really that important. On the bench now, though, is Rodriguez, which is huge. He's going to be a super sub for us. Could be a player that we lose, though, if we do bring him on as a super sub. But I must say that he'll fit in perfectly into our midfield, which is already stacked as is. Um, so I will be back once we find another match, which could be in a couple days. But you guys won't see that. You guys will just be right into the next match. But I will see you then. All right, we're coming up against I Just Kane. Probably the best name that I've ever seen in my entire life. And we are playing a hell of a South American side, which is cool because South American sides aren't, aren't, aren't exactly a popular in this game mode but i guess if you're gonna make a south american sign it better be all fucking argentinian and brazilian with a few uruguayans and then one peruvian thrown in there uh so yeah let's go let's get it going hopefully we don't lag out this time messi shielding felipe luis where oh i think this guy might have stopped playing now's our time to attack now's the time oh the handball Oh, but Di Maria able to pick it back up. Salah in the middle, and Salah puts it away. Catching this guy sleeping. And we have a 1-0 lead in the 25th. None of our stats counted from last game, so this is big. If this guy's actually not playing, we have a chance to get what we deserve back. Nice finish there by Salah, and this guy pauses. If he quit, he quit. This is this has been an odd episode to say the least, but I think I might play the first knockout and have a four game episode. Unheard of, I know. Unheard of stuff for me. Let's go open our packs real quick. We do have we got three goals or one goal and then a rage quit. So we have three packs to open, not including these two. Five packs. Starting with this premium pack. We get a good play two good players out of it. What can we get? I'm looking for a striker, hopefully. We get a cam from Argentina. Could be big, and it is Dybala. That's huge. Dybala could slot in as the striker for our team. We have a lot of South American players around him, and I think he'll spin in just well, just well enough for me to want to put him there. Dybala is a huge... And Marquinhos is huge in terms of big name players from South America let's send these guys away big first pack the single player pack now coming up I feel bad not giving you guys a single full game we might do an entire tournament if we lose in this round we might have an entire tournament in this episode CDM now from Argentina is Biglia another player from South America we might be able to make a full South American side at this rate oh yeah that was Ron Ronaldo's last game by the way so we do need a new striker 
So let's get, oh, I don't have any FIFA points. Let's get these three premium packs underway. Hopefully we can get a striker. If not, I really do believe that Zabala is a great replacement. But we do get more boards. Portuguese boards at that right mid, maybe Silva. It is Bernardo Silva. Our European team is strong already. Our European team can continue to grow. Players like Rodrigo and Henderson as well. Very, very solid players. Got to send our premium gold pack to our regular foot. Quick sell Petkovic. And let's move on to pack number two. It's crazy the amount of one nothing rage quits you see in the World Cup mode. More boards, which is fun. Another 81 plus player. And this time we get a Serbian Matic. No, Besa. Besa, Besa. However you want to pronounce it, I don't know the correct pronunciation. Uh, yeah, Bellarabi. We packed him, I think, earlier today. Or earlier in this episode, rather. You guys don't get the time difference that I'm on. <laughs> um, send these guys away. Keep the rest of them. Probably won't be making any huge substitutions into the team with those guys, but let's get our third and final pack from winning that game and making it to the knockout round. So we get two more boards players. Which is, which is nice, of course. Argentinian center back again. And this time it's Garay. Garay very slow. Probably won't make it into the team. But we do have a ton of options in terms of whether we want to go South American, European. Um, we know a few people that are going to be in the team for sure, including uh, the main man, Rui Costa. And honestly, that might be it in terms of people that will be in for sure. I'm going to go and make our team now. We have a 5-0-2 record. Really should be 6-0-1, but it's whatever. It got us through. It got us into the knockout rounds. Let me show you that real quick. We probably still finished top. Yeah, I don't really know if it shows. But yeah, we are in the knockouts. We got six points, even though it should have been nine. It's whatever. I won't, I won't stay up too late because of it. <laughs> But we do have to get rid of Ronaldo. We have to give some guys some contracts. So let's, uh, yeah, there's no transfer market. Can't do anything. So let's quick sell him. Let's check out his stats real quick, actually. Ronaldo, seven games, three goals. I believe it was actually seven games and four goals. The one didn't count. But thank you for your service, Ronaldo. I will be back when I figure out a team, and I will be back for a fourth game of the episode. All right, so the squad for the round of 16 looks like this. I have to say, this is definitely a very good squad. I don't know if it's our best squad. Um, Dybala and Bellarabi slotting in up top. Salah moved to the bench. Ronaldo gone. I actually could move James here eventually. It's going to bring down my chemistry a little bit because of the amount of Brazilian links that I have. But, as a South American option, I can put him here. I also do have options where I can put somebody out of position at right wing, like Gomez, um, or even move uh, Di Maria over to right wing, and then I can bring in nine goal, or bring off nine goal and bring in Rodriguez, and then move completely South American. But, I don't like our defending options enough in the South American uh, confederation to do that. So we're going in to the first game of the knockout stages with the team looking like this. Um, I probably will be bringing Salah on rather quickly. I didn't want him to play on 2 cam because I felt like that would have rendered him quite ineffective. But I still trust him enough to come on as a super sub. Hopefully, if I bring him on soon enough, he won't have the threat of being quick sold. Or if I bring him on late enough, he won't have the threat of being quick sold. So we're coming up against this Mexican themed team the Mexican kits I'm very excited redemption in the knockout stages hopefully he's, he's only got 96 chemistry too which is just a little sneak peek of something like really if it if they have 100 chem you know their team's gonna be good their team could still be good <laughs> of course he has Pele geez Pele De Bruyne uh, he's got some players playing out of position um, like Muller uh, Bertrand, Glick, a lot of, lot of good players, Mustafi, Walker, Lloris, um, yeah, solid team, 
I think very manageable though. We can beat Welcome this guy playing in St. Petersburg Stadium in St. Petersburg, of course, with a 12 p.m. kickoff. Pele, 98 overall. That's crazy that he got Pele. We got Rui Costa. It's whatever though. So he were more fortunate than us. I get it. Let's get it going though. No excuses. Let's get into the sweet eight. The, the, the quarterfinals for the first time ever. You know what? Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna make the sub immediately. Salah coming on for Bellarabi. Power move. It's a power move. He's ready to go. I'm ready to go. Just kidding. He was ready to resume the match, but he's not ready to go yet. Here we go. Right back to Mertens, though. Now Pele wins the ball back. Versalco passes it to the other team. De Bruyne. De Bruyne looking to fire, and he does. And my goodness, it was almost trouble. Pele at the back stick. But a nice play by Marquinhos and sends it all the way up to Di Maria. Nine going now on the ball again. Mohamed Salah, up to Di Maria. Nice pull back there by Di Maria. Salah on the ball, and it falls right to Dybala, who gets a goal in his first game, throws up the Dybala signature mask. And it's a 1-0 lead for the French side. Dybala slotting home his first in the World Cup. We knew we were going to have a hole when Ronaldo left the side and a perfectly timed packing of Dybala fills the hole well and it is 1-0 Mustafi just bullying Dybala but Dybala able to win it back Dybala chasing again Dybala running to his heart's content Pele on the ball though Pele very dangerous of course some would say the best to ever play and Muller puts it away what a strike a man who's won World Cups before, Thomas Muller. And by World Cups, I mean just one and the last one. But still, Muller puts it away on the edge of the box, making it one-to-one. -one. And Cross Van Nation could be in a little bit of trouble here. Pele through. Pele. What a save by Mandanda. Standing, staring Pele in the face. One of the best to ever do it. Stopped by Steve Mandanda. This could be bad. Pele on the ball. One though by Fernandinho. And that is the half. And it's time to get back out onto the pitch. Nine Golan over to Fernandinho. Just playing against Pele is kind of terrifying. Sal on the ball. Dybala. Dybala on his left foot. What a shot. Dybala pulling out all of the stops. Puts it in between Muller's legs and hits the post. Luis has been fantastic, but not even an inform Luis is stopping that one. What a goal by Dybala. He's got a brace in his first game. Salah looking for a nice ball roll, but cannot do it. There. Salah now. Dybala cannot do anything for some reason. Oh, but Rui Costa wins it back. Nice pressure there by Costa. We should have our own throw. And we do. And I just threw it to no one. Sorry. Di Maria into the middle for Nye Golan. And he powers it through. Nye Golan. Don't think he's going to get credited for that one. But he powers it through on his head. What a finish. Nye Golan. Getting on the board, I don't know if that's actually going to count for him, but a goal is a goal, and we are up two in the 65th minute of the round of 16. My goodness, emotions are running high in Crossman Nation. They can see the World Cup trophy in our hands. To stretch the opposition. Now Merton, over to Pele. Pele's got pace, but Marquinhos does a fantastic job of shutting down the danger man that is Pele. Yeah. Keita, up to Mertens. Mertens has got too much space. Huge block there by Felipe Luis, but Pele now. Pele, saved by Mandanda, got to clear it. But Mane misses the net. So much pressure on Steve Mandanda, and Steve Mandanda stands tall again. 
Nyan Golan takes a slide tackle. But the advantage being played, of course, as Di Maria into the middle now, out to Sala. Sala on his left foot, unable to get it past the defense there. But it's enough to get us in to the quarterfinals of the World Cup. Well, they always say it doesn't matter who scores the goal. The French fans of Crossman Nation with their hands up high for the boys. Pele getting eliminated is not something that he sees often. He's a multiple-time World Cup winner. And Paulo Dybala was the difference quite literally. A two-goal win, two goals from Dybala. One and own goal by Mustafi, but we'll give it to Nyan Golan in spirit. And we have two packs to open, not including what we're getting for winning this game. Let's see who won the end of the match. Let's give someone some credit. Probably Dybala, if I had to guess. We get a pack for our time. Dybala, of course, man of the match. We move on to round number two of the knockouts. The quarterfinals, which is humongous. This is the farthest we've made it. We've made it through an entire episode. An entire episode is just four games for you here today. Let's get in. Let's open three, our final three packs. Maybe make some upgrades and then sign off for this episode. Nothing special out of the first single player pack, but that's okay. We get a Saudi goalie named Alam Asylum. Alam Asylum. Nice. So he's going to go straight to the club because I don't have anywhere else to put him. Now on to our packs. The first 7.5k pack we get hopefully some boards we do one solid player out of this one let's see who it is Swedish not going to be Eva unfortunately I think we do get Gronkvist again our second time getting Gronkvist and that is going to be a duplicate player that we send to their duplicate pile we do get Ospina Benteke big striker might be a super sub type player uh, and honestly, Ospino, great player. He showed out. He's been showing out for uh, Colombia in the past. Um, so that's that means something to me, I guess. Um, let's quick sell these three things. Send the rest to the club. And let's move on to the final pack, the second and final pack. Hopefully, we get boards again. We do not, unfortunately. That is alright, though. Successful episode. Really shouldn't have even lost a single game. Versalco again. We do get Versalco. Versalco, another duplicate player to throw into the duplicate pile. Kieran Trippier as well. Ian Acho. The other two don't really mean anything to me. It's alright, though. I'll still respect them. Let's send him to the duplicate storage. Quick sell St. Petersburg and send the rest away. That is going to do it for the episode. Don't have any update upgrades to make. Probably have some contracts to apply, unfortunately. Yeah, we got a few. Three to be exact. Let's go back to the online tournament. Just scope out how things are going. We are four games into the tournament. The quarterfinals is up next. We don't know who we're playing. France versus Mexico was the first game we ended up not being first in our group apparently because we took the rage quit against that guy it's all right though <laughs> not not too upset about it we did get two other rage quits though this episode that's why you got four games in this episode let's check out our tournament stats before we go as well um sala is our leading scorer um dybala Dybala close behind Rui Costa as well. Rui Costa, of course, getting a brace in one game. Dybala also getting a brace in one game. Um, and we got a few goals down here from the likes of Goretzka, Fernandinho. I think Vardy has two. He also got a brace in one game. So a lot of the goals that have been scored for our team are no longer with us, like uh, Ronaldo and such. Anyways, that's enough of that. We are in the quarterfinals. Maybe, just maybe, I do a three-game episode next time. If not, I get two episodes to finish out this tournament. And uh, I'll see you guys then. We still got a few days. I think it might be ten at this point to the World Cup, which is exciting. 
Um, you, you guys won't see this today, but it's probably going to be like 9 or 8 by the time this gets posted. But I'm excited for it. I hope you guys are excited for it too. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you next time.